Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and this evening we'll have a look at the latest from the GFS, the GM, the ECMDF, the GFS ensembles and we'll finally finish up with the UK Met Office run as well. Now over the last few videos we have been looking at potential for seeing a really quite cold end to November. That is still looking quite likely. However, it does look like we're going to be seeing sort of repeat northerly shots instead of that consistent northerly flow that we were potentially seeing um, a few days ago. That may mean... Um, Events will be more marginal because there will be milder sectors mixing in, but then there will probably be more enhanced precipitation as well. So we have to keep an eye on what happens really next week. We do have the first sort of northerly shot moving through at the moment, spreading through Scotland tonight and through all areas tomorrow. It will give widespread frosts and temperatures down into the mid single digits. So do remember, if you enjoyed my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And do remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So if you do have a look at the latest GFS, you can see at the moment the first sort of northerly flow is starting to move in with this higher pressure that is moving um, out in the middle of the Atlantic. You can see cold air spreading through over the next 24 hours. If we do have a look at the energy of the HP temperature, you see minus 5 line moving through. It's not brutally cold air, which is still further to our north, but it's cold enough to give snow across Scotland, um, over the hills especially, um, and further south it will generally just be um, drier conditions as we are generally still under higher pressure, but likely to be seeing maybe some frosts, uh, fog and much lower temperatures, quite chilly as well with uh, wind chill making temperatures feel only around 3 or 4 degrees regardless of where you are. Beyond that, high pressure does topple. We see a brief area of mild air, but it really isn't going to make much um, of a difference um, as we still will be trapped under higher pressure with quite chilly surface temperatures. And then we see the next potential northerly plunge. We see the high pressure building up towards Greenland, not quite in quite as far north as we were seeing maybe three or four days ago, which is why we're seeing more of these northerly shots instead of a consistent northerly flow, as I said. You can see again, very cold air mass spreads across through Thursday. Then we see a brief milder sector for another very cold air flow does move through. This one being a bit more consistent, hanging around for a good few days over the weekend. Um, and this is where we could be seeing potential for snow more widely, whereas with the initial northerly shots, i.e. over the next couple of days, primarily over Scotland, and then ne uh, next week, sort of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday time, again, northern and over northern hills. But eventually, when we do start to get this very cold air start to spread through, it will become potentially a bit more widespread. In the longer term, right towards the first phase, first few days of December, we do eventually go westly, um, but that is kind of expected. Um, we're going to have to see a breakdown at some point, um, and it does look like it will be Wesley for the start of December. Again, can change. Um, these things are not guaranteed. Um, but at, at this stage, the next 10 days are looking quite chilly indeed. Now, if we have a look at the GFS uh, precipitation charts again, we're a good sort of three, four, five days away from any significant snowfall um, that may re require warnings, um, etc. So we're still looking at the longer range models as the short range models haven't really quite got into range um, for, for areas of interest um, in terms of snowfall. But if we do run through, you can see at the moment rain is spreading in for the north patchy and light initially and then turning to snow overnight tonight into tomorrow morning across northern Scotland potentially even over northern hills as well elsewhere just a few showers in the east most likely to be cold rain at this stage but mostly it is pretty dry um, throughout early next week then eventually we start to see weather fronts moving in from the north with cold or air digging in behind it heavy snow over scottish mountains low-lying areas probably initially rain before potentially turning to snow as the cold air comes underneath but again we are still under reasonably high pressure so further south it could just be quite cold uh, frosty and maybe a few showers before again by friday into saturday so we another spread weather front spread through much more active initially again rain up to lower levels and especially in the south but as that does spread through into next weekend, we do start to see more cold air dig in, heavy snowfall, snowfall potentially over higher ground. Even to low-lying areas, we could be seeing snow mix in as well. And you can see majority of this precipitation now is turning to snow inland. And as we do move through, you can see quite heavy snow quite widely, and even into sort of southern England as well, potentially seeing some snow mix in. It will be marginal when we do see the snow, especially to lower-lying areas. It will be marginal because this is, of course, still end of November. So um, there will be some areas that just see rain. Some areas may get surprised and see a lot of snow. So 
it really is going to have to be sort of pinpointing the details over the next few days because remember these air masses could upgrade in terms of being colder than we're seeing right now or they could get a little bit milder than we're seeing now so again we are still good maybe five days out from anything too significant um in terms of snowfall events so still is still uh, still is quite a bit of change potentially can, ha can happen in that time frame beyond that we still see a lot of heavier precipitation some snow some rain spreading through could be seeing even some heavy accumulations even further south and into the longer term still quite a, foot, a lot of snow around and as we head through to the first few days of december you see the snow eventually does diminish as we spread in milder air in off the atlantic so if we now have a look at the gm see how it does compare to the gfs you can see again First shot of cold air moving in tonight into tomorrow. That high pressure eventually topples, bringing in some briefly milder air in. And then we see another cold northerly shot through Wednesday to Thursday. Potentially snow across Scotland, elsewhere. Um, still quite cold, but under a ridge of high pressure in the south. So not likely to see any precipitation. And then as we head into next weekend is where we start to see low pressure, cold air mixing in. A proper northerly wind. Really quite cold, especially across Scotland. And when we do see this low pressure to our east, we'd be seeing showers spiralling, maybe conversion zones, occluded fronts, and that's where we could be seeing snow. Again, will be marginal, especially in the south, but at this stage, it still looks pretty cold, um, and the potential is there. We just have to pinpoint the details near the time. Um, and as to day 10, it does look like it will eventually go milder in from the west but we still have a lot of cold air just to our north so if we did get any high pressure building um northwards again we would quickly go back cold so still subject to change but at this stage does look at least the next week plus is looking really quite cold now if we have a look at the gm um precipitation charts you can see it again uh, mainly rain at the moment and then maybe some snow overnight tonight across the scottish hills and the scottish uh, and northern hills and mountains as well and then generally things turn out a lot drier for the end of this uh, weekend into early next week and then we start seeing more rain spreading from the north through thursday snow apparently over northern hills and then we see more heavier precipitation move through potentially snow inland again will be marginal um, and then again just generally a lot of heavy rain heavy snow at times especially overnight and across northern scotland because you're seeing quite a dumping there and again a lot of heavier snow showers winter showers and cold rain showers as well be a, be a quite a big mix and then we see a weather front pushing through next sunday as the gm run does break down this cold spell um, and we have a heavy snow on its eastern front before it does turn to rain so very interesting seeing that you can see there still is quite a bit of a difference between the gfs and the gm um sort of five days plus out so there is a lot um that could change but at this stage, it is still looking potentially quite cold and potentially quite snowy, especially if you are over high ground, especially in the north. But even to the south, at times, there will be snow potential around. We just have to pinpoint the details um, and see what exactly happens um, with the air masses, exactly how cold they are. And we won't really know that until we're maybe a couple of days out um, at the earliest, really. Um, and some of these events may just be marginal uh, and we don't really know um, whether it's going to be rain or snow or whatever it transition really until it happens um, this may be one of these scenarios where it's so marginal um, that that snow line is very very difficult to predict but we'll have to keep an eye on it we'll keep having a look at the models um, over the next week or so as this colder spell does develop now if we have a look at the ECMF, see how that does compare you can see again northerly wind over the next few days with the first shot of colder air then we see uh, the next shot of colder air moves through, not quite as widespread as the other models. And then we see the larger colder air mass move through through Saturday into Sunday and stick around for Monday before we do go a little bit milder in the south, but still got quite cold air to the north. So that could be a major snow event for northern areas, whereas in the south, we've got that milder air mixing in. Again, we're 10 days away, so these things can subtly change. Um, we see much a big drastic changes in um air masses um, with that cold air just a couple hundred miles further southwards which is very plausible and 10 days away so you can see the three main models are all broadly similar pattern but the details 
are very, very mixed at this stage in terms of exactly how cold that air mass is, exactly how long that high pressure holds on further northwards and how long we stay in that northerly flow and how quickly we do see the breakdown um, back to something a bit more westerly, which is going to inevitably happen over the next few weeks. Um, looking quite likely, maybe for the last day or two of November or definitely probably the first week of December. Now, if we have a look at the UK Mass Office run, have a look at this as well, you can see northerly winds pushing through. And then we see it again, our second shot of colder air, much colder um, in terms of uh, direction than we're seeing on the GM and the ECMWF and even the GFS. Um, not massively cold air mass spreading through at that stage, but again, as you see by Friday, very cold air is spreading through. And then we see another low spread through at 168 hours through to next Saturday, and you'd expect that low to sink southwards, pulling in that even colder air just to its north. So looking in, very cold on the UK Met Office run. Um, even though those upper airs don't look brutally cold, um, in terms of you see the minus 5 line is hanging out further northwards, you can still see it's minus 3, minus 4 degrees at 50 HPA quite widely, which if we did rerun this model again, that could easily cool down. We could easily see a couple degree shifts over the next week or so. So these things are not guaranteed, but at this stage, the um, the general pattern is looking quite encouraging for colder weather. So if we do now have a look at the GFS ensembles. You can see uh, right now we've got quite mild air in the south, but colder air is spreading through the north. We see the first northern shot over the next day with temperatures getting down to minus 5 at 850 HPA. Then we see a slow rise as the high pressure topples to just below average, around minus 1, minus 2 degrees at 850 HPA. Then it drops once again with another northerly shot come Wednesday, Thursday time, getting down to minus 5 or even lower. And you can still see the spread on the ensembles. Some getting down to sort of minus 10 or some saying around minus 3, minus 4 degrees at 850 HPA. So there still is quite a spread. Um, and then again, we see another brief rise in temperatures. That's going to be very important because that rise, we'll likely see weather fronts move in, bringing precipitation. And how big that rise will be will determine whether we see a mix of snow or rain, exclusively rain as it does move through, or we see slow, more widespread. Likely will be snow over higher ground and, and potentially further northwards. But for the south, it all depends on how mild that air mass. Some are hanging at around minus 3, minus 4 degrees at 850 HPA, which would be just enough, uh, just cold enough if we still had the dew points um, cold for snow. Others are bringing it much higher. It's around freezing or above. So we'll have to see that, uh, see what happens with that and iron out these details before again we see another northerly shot beyond that before eventually throughout the first few days of December we see a gradual rise back to around average and that's where it sort of hangs around. But there's going to be a big spread in the longer term of course. It is uncertain. You can see precipitation does return over the next four or five days um, as we see that second northerly shot move in for Wednesday into Thursday um, and that's where we could be seeing initially probably rain but there is the chance of it turning more wintry um, as it does progress. If we have a look at the new dust and snow dust spikes you can see quite a few sort of small snow spikes cropping up which is symbolic of the potential for snow out there. Again it will be uh, very subject to change at this stage. We will not know exactly what's going to be happening with the showers um, and um, what's going to happen with any snow potential until we're maybe two or three days out. Just to get the precipitation charts early just gives hints of what we could be seeing and potential time frames as well. If we have a look at dew points, which again is very important, you can see the dew points over the next day or two are going to drop to around freezing or just below, then rise to above freezing before we get that first northerly shot, stays well below freezing, and then we get that milder temperatures move through. You can see the big uncertainty. Ones that are going well above freezing will most likely be uh, turning things back to rain, turning temperatures back up to mid to maybe high single digits. The ones keeping it much colder than that likely to see temperatures down to low single digits and the potential for seeing um, that wintry weather hold on a bit before we again go much colder once again with colder air pushing through. And then in the longer term, returns around 4 or 5 degrees again with a lot of spread. So if we have a look at Glasgow, just to have a look further northwards, um, and you can see again, dew points are quite up and down. We can, again, we're seeing colder air spread through in the moment, then it rises up once again early next week and then we see it drop quite cold rising up again still a lot of uncertainty with those air masses and then we see it again drop quite cold once again and within those two northerly shots a lot of the precipitation falling out of the sky will likely be snow in the north if i look at new snow depth you can see again quite a few small snow depth spikes because of course we are still quite far away these um 
low resolution um, ensembles are not going to be quite picking up um, the uh, sort of convection at this stage and again the weather fronts will not be particularly well modelled as we are still quite far away. If we also have a look at inch of HPA and precipitation you can see again quite up and down but you can see going quite cold over the next day or two, minus 5 degrees at end 50 HPA, rising to around freezing or just above. So it actually gets a bit milder further northwards than in the south as that milder area is closer to our north and west. Um, and then we see a big drop down to around minus 7, minus 8, maybe down to minus 10 or below a 50 HPA. Still uh, quite a bit of spread. And then we return to around minus 2, minus 3 potentially still holding on to very cold conditions before we drop down once again below minus 5. And you can see some on top members going very cold, some warming up a little bit quicker than that. And then, of course, through that, the first few days of December turning much, uh, well, looking like it's going to be turning milder once again to around average conditions. But again, a lot of spread around, so we can't look into that in too much detail at this stage. You can see we've got repeat northerly shots coming over the next week. Uh, and again, we'll have to keep a, a close eye on what happens, especially with the second and the third and the transition from the second to the third, um, as that is where we are likely to be seeing any wintry potential, um, especially over hills and northern areas, and even to low-lying areas as well in the south, we could be seeing some potential there as well. We'll have to keep an eye on what happens. Now, if we finally have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at the next five days. You can see again, uh, rain pushing in um, in the north, weather front spreading southwards this evening, and then we start to see snow showers further northwards, mainly over hills, but could be falling to low-lying areas as well at times. And the early hours of Sunday, still snow in the north, mainly rain along the east coast within these showers, but could be a bit of snow over northern hills at times, potentially, before things um, turn a lot drier throughout Monday. And even through Tuesday before we start to see another weather front push through Wednesday and then snow showers pushing into the north um, of Scotland. Quite frequent snow showers and will be falling to lower levels as that cold air does push through. Now if we have a look at the max temperatures, you can see um, this afternoon we saw temperatures in the south around 10, 11 degrees. For the north it's only 3 or 4 and as that cold air really pushes through tonight by sort of 6am, temperatures below freezing in the north really quite low single digits uh, in the sort of northern England and even the south only four or five degrees. For that tomorrow afternoon you're going to feel a big difference hovering around freezing or maybe a couple of degrees above freezing in Scotland for many parts of England, Wales and Ireland only six or seven degrees and with the wind chill added onto that it's going to be even colder. That's the max temperatures uh, when it peaks so in the morning it's going to be a couple of degrees colder than that. Then we could be seeing quite a hard frost through early hours of Monday. We could be seeing temperatures dip down to minus 3, minus 4 across Ireland, Northern Ireland, many parts of Scotland, Wales as well. England may be holding on to um, temperatures just above freezing, around 2, 3, 4 degrees, but still looking really quite cold. Monday afternoon, once again, 8 or 9 degrees maximum, most likely 6 or 7 quite widely. But we are seeing a brief area of milder air. But Tuesday morning, still looking quite cold and frosty, even with that milder upper air temperatures, because we're still seeing a bit of an inversion with some colder air at the surface. Still really quite cold and frosty. Tuesday afternoon, still cold, around 7 or 8 degrees, feeling colder in the wind chill. And then by Wednesday afternoon, we see that colder air spreading through the north once again, around freezing across Scotland, elsewhere, 5, 6 degrees maximum, maybe 7 or 8. And you can see that really cold air is starting to spread in from the north. You can see minus 1, minus 2 degrees across Scotland at 3 a.m., even across northern England as well. And you can see over the course of... Um, the seas around Scotland as well, see those temperatures dropping just to the north, only three, four, five degrees over the ocean. So just shows you how cold that air mass is going to be, the cold air mass pushing through um, through Thursday, um, reaching all areas really by Thursday afternoon, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, very interesting to see what happens with this. It can still chop and change, uh, and we'll just have to keep an eye really on what happens with these sort of events. It can be very marginal, so we've got to keep a close eye on what's happening with temperatures, especially upper air temperatures, uh, dew points, and exactly where these weather fronts, um, when they do eventually pass through, um, uh, sort of set themselves up. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.